Love to go on holidays with your friends? Well, how would you cope on a holiday with four complete strangers with very different ideas of what makes a great breakaway? This is Away With A Stranger, where we send four complete strangers on an all-expenses-paid holiday. Each day, a different member of the group turns tour guide, planning every activity, every meal, every drink, even what time they get up at. But whatever they plan, it better be good, because their efforts will be rated by their fellow holidaymakers, the winner taking the prize of another holiday. But this time, with people that they actually know. One mystery destination, four complete strangers, and one prize. Let the competition begin. This is Away With A Stranger. Coming up. Any drink or a pub or booze or something? I'd love to be anywhere else but here. I think you're being narrow-minded about the food. Nothing against vegetarians, but what the fuck, like, seriously. My opinion this morning was a waste of a day. This is my perfect day, exactly what I wanted. I took your shit on my day. She took your shit, she took your shit. But now you can't take it, and that's what pisses me off. They really, really, really hated it. Cheers. <laughs> Twenty-two year old pageant queen Alessia McCary from Kildare is our first away bound stranger. She's a glamour hammer fashion obsessive and a pouty pop up party girl. I'm a beauty pageant contender and a singer and part time model because I'm really short. This poster here, uh, basically advertising that I would miss Val Camino del Mundo, which is like the world. If you didn't know me, you'd probably think I was a bit of a bitch. Am I allowed to say that? I think you just have. I've been singing since before I could talk, apparently. You'll ever find him be unfaithful. You will find him, you'll find him next to me. Tune! Alessia has recently discovered outdoor sports, but she's yet to discover the sports bra. I'll go running because I like to keep fit, but I love like dressing up in like the running gear and stuff like that, so I probably do it for the fashion. <laughs> Joining Alessia on her friend-free holiday is Dublin funny man, Colm Turrell. I do stand-up comedy because I was never hugged but as a child from my mother, and now I seek the love of strangers. Love me, love me, <laughs> go on and love me. But don't let the whiny falsetto fool ya. Manly Colm likes nothing more than a quick game of rugby before hopping into a bath with 14 <laughs> other men. I love rugby because it's good to get out and just get lumps kicked out of you. I have a bit of a black eye at the moment. If anyone asks, I saved someone from an orphanage or something. <sighs> Colin doesn't know it yet, but he's off on holiday with 30-year-old Dubliner Jonathan Best. I would be introvert, but I make myself extrovert. And with that lack of logic, who's betting Jonathan's also a model? Of course he is. You know, when I say that I'm quiet, no one believes me. They always just see the, the crazy Jonathan, not the one that wants to sit home and drink tea and eat biscuits. That's definitely the body of a secret biscuit eater right there. Final competitor, Heather O'Leary from Cork, is self-confessedly the strangest of our strangers. I totally believe in the supernatural, not um, particularly angels, but I believe in aliens and UFOs and I think there's more out there and I think there's more to life than meets the eye. Like, And what's that then? Invisible aliens. Anyway, so here they are, four complete strangers with one simple task, to show each other that their idea of holiday heaven amounts to the most heavenly holiday on earth. I only go on holidays really just to drink and party. I like to do sports, water sports. I like to go on booze cruises, foam parties. And no tourism stuff, no museums or anything. That's disgusting. I want to see parts of the culture. No one's ever asked either when you come back from France, did you see the Mona Lisa? Tell me about it. You can Google it. But what would be their idea of holiday hell, apart from each other? I would rather put my hand in a bucket of spiders than to go on karaoke. I would hate to discuss probably something really boring, like stuff about like geography and like animals. Um, I just love animals and I grew up in the countryside and that's why I became vegetarian and then vegan. And what kind of person would Colin prefer to avoid? Vegans, gluten-free people, whatever they're called. You know them, the weaker ones. I don't like to spend time with attention seekers. At the end of the day, not everyone is as good as me. As, as a human, you know, I'm, I'm fairly high standard. So, as soon as they accept that I'm better than them, we'll all get on. So, how far will our four charmers go to win the prize? I am a 
really competitive person and I'm in it to win it, so if I have to flirt, you know, a bit of flirting never harmed anybody. <laughs> I'm a natural flirt. <laughs> I'm flirting with you right now. Can you not tell? <laughs> if you have to ask me, you're doing it wrong. So where in the wide and exciting world of hotspot holiday destinations are our four flirtatious jet setters bound for? <laughs> oh, okay. Majorca. That's a sun holiday. I don't know anything about the place. I don't even have a map, so I know where that is. Why don't you Google it? Because if you did, you'd discover that Majorca is the largest and most scenic of Spain's Balearic Islands. Demonising the 80s for the package holiday nightmare of Magaluf, or Mega Ruff, as it was also known. The island has reinvented itself as the hip and classy retreat of stars like Michael Douglas, Richard Branson, and even the Coors. Dublin Airport, and it's the start of our Away With A Stranger adventure. Our four intrepid tripsters have been booked separately on the same flight to Pama, Mallorca, but the first time they'll actually meet is at the villa they'll share for the next five days. They may not love each other, but they're bound to love the four-bedroom luxury pad they'll enjoy as their base, as they each attempt to host the best holiday itinerary and run away with the prize. First to arrive at Mystery Mansions is pageant queen Alessia. Bet she ran up some excess baggage charges. Oh my god, the pool. Oh my god, the view. Oh, walk in wardrobe, this better be my room. Yeah, I want this one, this better be mine. So the best room's already nabbed as personal trainer Jonathan makes his big entrance. Hey, how are you? Hi. Uh, Jonathan. Alessia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. When I saw Jonathan for the first time, I was like, whoa. Like, he is, like, he's gorgeous. Is that two rooms up here? Uh, no, just one. Loving the leather, it's like really stylish. Oh, is it leather? Yeah, oh, very yes. S&M. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can try that out. Ooh, um... <laughs> Says the man already leaping off the bed. Go on, follow him, Alessia. Save the moment. Make a suggestive joke. Look at these two big balls. They're really cool. I was playing with them. <laughs> Thankfully, Heather arrives to burst the wonky bubble of sexual tension with her spiky chin piercings. Hey, how are Hi. you? Hi, how's it going? What's your name, Heather? Heather, yeah. Nice to meet you. Alessia, how's how's it going? Going? So there's three of us here, only one left. Would you say it's a guy? Uh, I hope so. Good news, your next new friend is so blokey. He comes with a can of lager. Hello. Hey, hey come on hi. in. I'm Colin. Nice to meet you, Hey, my name's Heather. Have uh, you just picked out your beds and all Yeah, we, yeah, have, we, the, have. we have the best bedrooms. You so have the shitty little box right bed. Now. I got the horrible, the, the grittiest little disgusting box room. This is my room, yeah? As, like, it's the room that Harry Potter turned down and would rather sleep underneath the stairs. At least, at least I don't have a double bed because that's just extra lonely. But who could be lonely when the conversation's this good? My room is right <laughs> beside the pool, so if you see like a dead cat in the water, it was definitely me. Do not like cats. <laughs> I just think they're evil. Don't think Mother Nature Heather agrees. <laughs> but Colm's having trouble with Alessia's unusual name. I'll, I'll get, I will get your name. Alessiana. Alicia or Alessia? Alessiana. <laughs> no. Alessiana. Alessia. Alessia. Ali Lassen. Ali Lassen. I don't know. It's Ali something. We're calling her Al from now on. I do beauty pageants and okay. some modelling and singing as well. She spends most You're of her time in, in huh? Italy. You're a model. Part-time. Apparently she's a part-time model. So, uh, that means she's not a model. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I'm a stand-up comedian. So, oh, I could have really? guessed that. Could you? No, yeah. I couldn't. Oh, I'm very funny, yeah, am I, yeah, Alicia? Funny, yeah. I think he looks at me as, like, a fucking model bimbo, which I'm not. Like, I look at him as, like, obviously, like, a depressed comedian, if that's how he wants to put it. How many persons do you have? There's loads on my ears and stuff, but, yeah. Oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever go skinny dipping and, like, a magpie just comes down and rips off your nipple? Um, no. <laughs> So, one hour into the holiday, what are our strangers making of each other? I think I'm going to bond the most with Jonathan because um, um, Heather is like, she's a lovely girl, but she's a bit, she's a little bit quiet. And, um, is that her name? Colm? Whatever. If I was to clash with someone, it would probably be Colin. I think at the moment I'm getting on with Colm, but I also think I could totally clash with him. I'm so happy now, meeting the people. I'm actually, I couldn't have asked for a better group. So let's make this like a week we will not remember. <laughs> Cheers. Hey. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. 
It's our holiday posse's first full day in Mallorca, but which of our four is about to find out that they're in charge of the inaugural day's itinerary? And it's pageant princess Alessia who bags the honour of showing the others what her idea of a perfect vacation day looks like. And with a day of sun-seeking, fear-conquering and vegan-bashing ahead, Alessia gets herself ready by getting back into bed. Um, um, I don't know what time it is. I woke up, like, so early. Yeah, it's like 20 past 11. And that's the day off to a great start. Rules state that the others have to stay in their rooms until the host rouses them for breakfast. But as the clock ticks towards midday, Alessia's not in a hurry to release them until she's ready. <laughs> Got off uh, to a rocky start. Uh, wake up call was 12 o'clock, uh, which for me is half the day gone already. So, what's Alessia planning on serving for breakfast? Or should I say brunch? I really don't know what I'm doing, so I plan just to get them really drunk, like really early. This cocktail here is going to be for Jonathan because it's going to be really sweet and it kind of reflects his personality, but it's going to be really strong because he was a bit boring last night and went to bed really early. This one is for Colm, so it's, it's going to be a bit. I reckon we're off for a, a day of pampering. I reckon a spa. That would be great. She looks like a girl that likes a facial. Good morning. Yeah. Ah. I made cocktails for everyone. So I'll Love show it. you which one's yours. So this one's yours. She made us cocktails for breakfast, which was the most rank thing I've ever had to drink in my life. It took me ages to make that. Oh, put a lot of thought into it. Put salt in it. The salt in it. So I think he was being a bit of a pussy and a bit of a diva not wanting to drink his cocktail because it had salt. Oh, it gets worse every day. <laughs> I was thinking, OK, when's the breakfast? And that was it. So that was a complete disaster for me. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Yeah? Hey! Woo! Binge brekkie subbed, the strangers have been told to get ready for their first activity. But looks like Alessia is not going anywhere. You might be needing that knapsack, he man. In fact, you definitely won't be needing it. <laughs> Are we sitting by the pool all day? This morning, we're going to just, you know, chill, top of our tans, get to know each other, and... Read heat magazines. Read tacky magazines. She's just reading heat magazines. You're in, you're in Spain, there's loads of heat everywhere. In my opinion, this morning was a waste of a day. Like, it wouldn't be what I would consider a holiday. This is my perfect day, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't I think am. of anything better. <laughs> Bet Heather can. And just when it seems things can't get any worse, Woo! Alessia's one-woman pool party fantasy turns into a one-woman fantasy beauty pageant. Wonder if Alessia is going to win. Alessia came out in pageant clothes. It was hilarious, really funny. Today we're gonna do a fake pageant, and uh, basically you're gonna have to like walk up and down and work it. I'm gonna show you how it's done. So watch and learn, because you're gonna have to do the exact same thing. Go, go. So, Colm, you're up first. So I had to dress up like a woman, uh, high heels, and tiara, one of those uh, sashes. Uh. So you're Miss Beauty Queen International now, so work it. I am. Go on. First time anyone's called Colm International. Until yesterday, he didn't even know where 